All right, hello everybody, welcome to today's video. I'm joined here by King of RC Trucks. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, so we are here together. Uh, I'm finally doing a joint video. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to see my screen fairly well. We are doing the Traxxas video. So this is what is the best Traxxas video. A couple of people have actually texted me on my social media and stuff asking, can we please do a Traxxas video? So here we are. So, right, I Dale, what's your opinion on the uh, Bandit? My Banda, I've seen it. Um, they, I would say, it's quite a good beginners truck, especially the VXL, because uh, of my, because I actually read a Traxxas catalog. And, yeah. Um, yeah, it said it was quite good for beginners and quite a nippy little thing. But I just want yeah, to ask, yeah. so, ask you a small question as well. Yeah. What would you say your personal favourite is of the Traxxas? Personal favourite Traxxas? Um, oh, it's got to be between personally for me. The Slash 4x4 and the X-Max, personally. Well, uh, I, I was, I'm going to go the X-Max as well, but obviously I think that's... Yeah, every, is, yeah it, it, I think it, it's kind of everybody's main... Go-to. Yeah, go-to, but... but um, as much I as... I don't know. Norman, um, and this might take you by surprise, but I do like the... Um, oh, what was that rally one they came out with? Oh, the UDR. Um, yeah, UDR. I do like that one. I, I, because of the realism. Yeah, I agree with that, actually. Um, I don't know. I think for me, I think everybody really enjoys the X Max. You know, it's one of them oh, things yeah. that I don't think if you see an X Max, you're not going to say no. Oh no. So it's like HBI Savage, yeah. really, isn't it? Yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah. So that's the Bandit. Then we'll have a look at the VXL a bit later on. Now, the Traxxas Rustler XL. Ooh. What is your opinions on this? So I'm it's not, not the VXL, the fastest version. Uh, this isn't um, new of me hearing the, the XL. X I've not heard of the XL, but uh, by looking at it... So look yeah, it does about 35 miles an hour, roughly. Let me click on this one. Yeah. So this is kind of some specification. They got 179 pounds, a little video there. Um, <laughs> so yeah, here we go. 35 mile an hour, top speed with a 7 cell light pair battery. Optional 28 tooth gearing. It sounds promising. It it looks like something I would use for if I went to like the beach. I wouldn't use it for bashing. I would more use it as a race truck. Yeah, I think if you were going to use the bashing version, you would get the VXL or the four x four personally. Yeah, this one looks more of a I'm 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 here to mean business as such. Yeah, this is kind of the one that I'm I'm like I'm here. I want to just have a bit of fun. Yeah. Right, Stampede XL. I'll be honest, it reminds me, I think... It reminds uh, me a lot of the HBO Savage. Yeah, it does, actually. I can see why you think that. Little stuff, the body. Oh, yeah. But I think this yeah, is like... I, I... So, if, like, if someone went up to me saying, I want to get into, like, the monster truck side of RCs, I'd go for this stampede, definitely. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's... Obviously, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of better cars out there, but for the price, you're not really going to be complaining. No. And especially if it comes to, like... a I presume these ones do come with the battery, or do they come separate? Uh, I think you've got to pay... A, I don't know. Hang on. Uh, 153 pounds for the battery as well. Ah, it's the bundle. Yeah, yeah See, it's the bundle version. Personally, it's quite a good truck. I mean, it looks solid, but it's at the same time, it's that if there's a little kid and he wants to have a go with it. Is that one of them things you give to, yeah, you give to somebody to have a little go? Yeah. Yeah, I can agree with that. Oh, Traxxas Bigfoot. I don't, I'll be honest, I don't even know too much about this. Um, I've seen bits of it. They're not really built for bashing. This is the truck I would use for um, a beginner's... Monster jam and monster yeah. stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, In definitely. Your type thing, that yeah, definitely. Okay. It yeah. reminds me of the uh, HPI Wheelie King. It's like Traxxas Yeah, I can take. agree with that, actually. Yeah, I can agree with that. Right, let's get rid of the rustlers and stampedes. We've done this. <laughs> oh, the one sixteenth summit. Oh, I've heard. I was originally going to be. I was looking at the summits. Now, it depends what I think. The summit is a mixture of a right. I want to do bashing, but I want to do crawling. But I'm also on yeah, a yeah. I can agree with that. It's budget. a lot of a crawler in, in the same way. Yeah, I can agree with that 100. percent I mean, um, I see where I, you're coming from. have you seen RC Sparks's one? Yeah, he's got quite a nice one, actually. Yeah, he's got, like... He's I'll be honest, like... 
Yeah. Yeah. Motor. The one sixteenth range by Traxxas are really like the kid out of the box. Like the E Revo, for example, the one that we I've just clicked on now. Yeah. Like that's a nice looking car. It is. I've I I think I've always been a fan of the E Revos and the Nitrous E uh, Revo. They're the the body, the way it's been designed. But there's only yeah. been one thing holding me back from ever getting one. The, it's What's just that? like all the parts are like too close. Yeah, it is very compact. See what you mean? Mm. Oh, no, He's got, I've got a white screen. Mm. Oh. Technical uh, problem. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I know we got nope. a proper second over there. Please, internet. No, no. I have it. Oh, I'm going to refresh it. Ooh. There we go. So, everyone, you're just seeing my screen. Oh, I've screened the There we go. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Right, let's get, let's, let's get back onto that. Yeah. There we go. Right, we're, we're back, we're back. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> right. The Traxxas 2017 Ford Raptor XL. Person, what is your take? Oh, my take on this one, I don't know about you, but just I think it's been remodeled off a slash, but they've just tweaked it yeah. a bit. They've tweaked it and put the full rain, the full Raptor body on it. Don't I mean, get there's me a wrong. slash down one below as well. Yeah, it don't does get look me cool. wrong. The truck looks amazing, but I mean, one thing I've learned having a short course, because I used to run a big petrol short course, which unfortunately is being sold because it's just one of those ones where. A pull starter will break. A, um, I mean, I've broken a spring on my clutch. I've broken countless of pull starters because it's metal and plastic. It's just not an intelligent idea in my eyes. Yeah. Short courses always roll over on your turns, but they rewrite themselves quite quickly. It's quite weird. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, I can agree with that actually. <laughs> yeah. Right. Let's have a look here. The Traxxas Ford Bronco. So it's just gone down to best selling, so we're just going to kind of okay. pick our way yeah. back through. I, right, the Bronco. It's a TRX4. Well, TRX4. I do love the TRX4s. It's the Bronco. In my opinion, that's the best crawl you can get. Oh, yeah. 10 out of 10. Opinion. Unless you go on, I think it's Banggood. You can get, I think it's, it says it's Axial, but I don't think it is. Is the Oh, kit, is it the, the HBX? Kit kit yeah, that's the one. I think that yeah. was pretty clever. The money is very good. Yeah. yeah. The um, Bronc, I personally am the fan of a Defender, uh, purely because I am an actual Defender fanboy. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the Bronco looks quite nice. But um, going on course, yeah. have you seen the new one that's got independent suspension at the front and axle in the back? I have not, but I'll have a look at that. Actually. Yeah, that's it's a really like interesting design of truck. It's quite. Mm. It's never because it's never been seen before. Mm, interesting. Right, yeah. Traxxas Ruster 4x4 VXL. Like a, if that body on there looks amazing. It does. I, I I've always been a fan of Traxxas's uh, bodies. Armour's starting to get good bodies on their um, EXLs. I think yeah. it is. It's only taken a couple of years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. O only and it, and the, the new Armour Outcast ATS body looks amazing. The red it one. Does. Oh, there's just really one. There's just one problem. I. Even though I own a Notorious and I can't really complain about the chassis, um, I can't really complain about the chassis because it's actually quite good. But um, oh, sorry, I'm just start, I'm just starting on my words here. But um, their chassis are made out of chocolate. <laughs> Loads of people have just yeah, said their know. chassis are chocolate. Yeah. Right. The Traxxas Slash. Ooh. This is a good car. It is. I got them here. Very they, expensive, though, at the minute. It, they are. I, was, that I mean... As for yeah. the 4x4, four four, I don't remember the, the VXL's down here, but yeah, for the 4x4, four four, it's very expensive. But I think... Because all you need is, I think, it's like three, four upgrades, and it's like pretty much rivaling... Not rivaling the X-Max, but the, quite a strong Decent. car for what it is. Yeah, I agree with that. Right, we've already spoken a little bit about Slash, we just did that. Right. The six by six. This is a good car again. It does. It depends on what you're asking for. It's like it's like even when it it's comes to a lot of up, dough. It's a it, lot of money. It really. is because when it comes to your actual off-roading, do you want a short wheelbase that can go through ditches and all that, or a long wheelbase that can go 
through other terrain it, it depends on your terrain with this truck and what you want to take it through yeah i mean like yeah. I, I think from the videos i've seen it's quite top heavy very top heavy i believe by the way there will be a link to dale's youtube in the description just so that you know if you want to give it yeah. some love as well <laughs> please um right let's have a little look down when we're speaking about something the udr now this is another amazing car very expensive though it is uh on i think i looked when i looked on um wheel spin models uh quite a good company wheel spin models may I ask that's why i get um quite a few of my uh armor and my or just my armor mainly parts and i used to get my savage and hpi bullets parts there uh i still yeah. go my hpi bullets there but um I there's a guy I met on Facebook who sells me my Savage parts now. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, yeah, the, I mean, yeah. UDR does look very nice. It does. I've always liked the body sh the body designs on it, but personally, yeah, same as the slash well. Yeah, but I think um, I'm not a um, I've never been a Losi fanboy. I'm not actually a fanboy of too many RC trucks except HPI. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Purely because they were just a good brand. But no, um, yeah. personally, I'd go over the Super Baja Ray 2.0. Because mm -hmm. it's just more I powerful. Right. Yeah. Right. Traxxas Max. Roll, rock and roll body. I do the, like the Max, in my roll. opinion. Yeah, in, the Max, in my opinion, is better value than the X Max, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. I'm throwing it controversial out there, but that's my opinion. Simply because the Max is, was it £400 cheaper than everything? Yeah. And I'm, yet, look, if you if you think about it, there's not too much difference wise. Yeah. The speed's not too much different. It's it might be been pretty good. To me, to be honest, it's literally what you're asking out of the truck. Do you? Because I'm not saying an X Max is a statement. I mean, I'm sorry, but if you're in a prime prime or aminator, as much as their things are fun, it's just a bit of a statement type thing in my eyes. Yeah. If like if you say to somebody, oh, what RC you got? You say you got a prime or aminator, they're gonna like you know, once I have a go on it and stuff like that. Yeah. If you say you've got something like a Max, you know, they're going to say, it's cool, yeah, but it's not, you know, a Raminate type thing. The Raminate yeah. to me is, and I think you're probably one of the best RCs in the world. It's the best, but um, it's one of those ones where you can't really use it in many places, can you? No. I mean, like, for, for example, for me, I wouldn't be able to use it around here, where I no. live. It's, it'd be impossible. I mean, I can only right. use my big petrol near a forest I live, and I can use it in other places, but I've just got to be respectful on the days and how long I use it for. Yeah. Right. Traxxas Hoss. This is fairly new. Uh, yeah. Been out for a couple of months now. Come out during lockdown. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. The first lockdown. Yeah. Uh, you've only recently been able to buy these from these type of shops. They were only uh, hobby shops, but now you can yeah. buy them online. Again, opinions? My opinion is it looks like a Stampede and a Max just mixed together. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. The, body, the front of the body and the body, for me, really represents the Max very yeah. well. And the wheelbase isn't too far off. But I think it's, a very, it's still a very nice car. Because I read about this one and it, it's, it's completely waterproof. I mean, the pictures I had of it was it going through a stream. Yeah. Right, I think there's only one car actually that we're missing. And yeah, it's the X-Max. It is the X-Max. Oh, no, you Revo 2.0. Ooh. Go on, mate. This is another very good car. I do like it, but um, it just... It, it's a lot of pound for what it is. Yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, it's like, I'd rather... If I had that much money for a car, then I'd just think I'd rather save up just that little bit more for the X-Max. Yeah, that's just more being 500. Yeah. 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 Um, where is it? I'm say that the new X Max, the new X Max's colours are quite vibrant. I do have to admit. Where is the X? Oh, X01. Let's have a little Ooh. talk about the X01 when I try to find the X Max. Yeah. Uh, I'm go away with that. So the X01, I mean, that it's a good car in my opinion. It's one of those blasters where you, can, if you're bored one day, yeah, you can take it out. But through my play styles, I just want something where I can bash and just that like i'm an off-road no i forgot thing. they've actually discontinued the x-max haven't they for the minute i've forgotten about have they i think they have well no. if i put in tracks as x-max in the search bar oh no there it is i'm just being stupid <laughs> that's what i'll say i don't think they are because they're still there in stock is, 
Yeah, the big, the big one. Yeah. Uh, what is your hey. opinions on oh, your, the actual oh, body shells? That the selection of body shells you get. Oh, it's amazing. But uh, I, I like the, I like the ways where you don't have to worry about clips. Yeah, yeah. It's that, kind that, of a little latch. That's probably the best one. And the self writing. Right. Yeah, right. Thank you everybody so much for this video from me yeah. and Dale. Massive yeah, thank, thank you. you. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to subscribe to Dale's channel. And yeah, we'll see yeah. you probably do another video together because it's been quite an enjoyable video to make. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll see you later on. Thank you. See Bye. Later. Bye. Have you ended it now?